X-20 Dinosaur was a United States Air Force program to develop a reusable space plane that could be used for a variety of military applications. Other spacecraft being developed at the time were space capsules that returned on ballistic re-entry, where the Dinosaur was a much more advanced concept in that it could fly like an ICBM and then return to Earth under piloted control and glide to any chosen location instead of simply falling back to Earth. Once reaching an exo-atmospheric trajectory, the main lifting body would separate and fall back into the atmosphere, leaving behind a trans stage to assist in orbiting, orbit transitions, and eventual re-entry. The X-20 would utilize a skip-glide method in which it would re-enter the atmosphere in order to change its trajectory and then use its rocket to re-enter orbit. This would make uh, orbital maneuvers more efficient as the orbit changes in orbit would be more taxing on the fuel. The X-20 was envisioned for all kinds of uses, including aerial reconnaissance, bombing, space rescue, satellite deployment and maintenance, as well as intercepting enemy satellites. Sadly, this versatility was later seen as a lack of focus in the program and was one of the major contributors to its cancellation. Final use for the trans stage would be the descent trajectory, and then it would be jettisoned before re entering the atmosphere. The Dinosaur program was to develop over three stages, initially as a research vehicle, then as a reconnaissance platform, and then finally as a strategic bombing platform. And this was to be either as an orbital bomber or to glide to its location, bomb its target, and then glide to a safe airfield. Unfortunately, the X-20 program was cancelled before the first craft was ever finished being manufactured, so we'll never truly know how this craft would have performed. However, I can say from the craft I built that its gliding ability is not to be questioned. As you can see through this video here, I overshot the Space Center pull the U-turn back and then I end up taking another U-turn to land opposite of the airstrip as you see it now. I did cheat a little bit here as the uh, actual design did not have landing gears but it had a specially designed skid which I really couldn't find pictures of to try to replicate. If you enjoyed this Histories of Misfits, and please like and subscribe to see more.